Welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table, and welcome back to another Fall Food Friday. Um, Fallon over at Moss Family TV hosts this every year. Of course, I will leave her link down below and the playlist so you could go ahead and watch everybody's videos that decided to join. And again, thank you to Fallon for hosting this. Today, I'm going to start out with a really super simple, easy recipe for pumpkin brownies. Now, I'm not sure if they taste very pumpkin-y or if the pumpkin is used just as something to moisten the batter. Yes, I know, I hate that word too. Um, but you're going to, it's a two ingredient thing. I am making it a three ingredient thing, but you, um, recipe, but you don't have to. The only problem is, is I do not have a family sized box of Cake, uh, chocolate fudge brownie mix. So the original recipe and the one I write down below will have a family size mix. It is one ounce short of that. So I might keep back maybe two tablespoons or so of the pumpkin. And it's pure pumpkin, no pumpkin pie mix or anything like that. So I might just, uh, I'll probably just give it to our dog because pumpkin is very good for dogs. So into that is the one mix and one 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin. And my oven is already preheating to 350 degrees. So like I said, I don't know if this is going to taste pumpkin-y or if we're just using this instead of like the eggs and oil, so it's more of a healthy, is what I'm thinking. But now is the time when you get all of your pumpkin on sale, so I think it's a great thing to do for fall. So we're gonna mix this up. And this is what the batter looks like after you mix it for two minutes in your mixer. Just wipe the batter off the blade and wipe down the sides and mix again for about a minute. All right, and that's it. Super quick, super easy, limited ingredient. How can you not love recipes like this? Okay, so the original recipe calls for a nine by nine pan. Again, my oven's a little bit smaller, and I don't have a 9x9 pan, so I have my 8x8, and I'm going to um, put it in here. It's nice and greased. Put it in a 350 degree oven, 25 to 30 minutes, and because this is smaller, it might take a little bit longer, so I'm going to keep checking on it. I'll show you what it looks like after. I'll let you guys know if it tastes pumpkin-y or what it tastes like, if we liked it. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do, let me get it in here and I'll show you. And smooth that out. You can add whatever you want into this. You can put some nuts. You can do whatever you want. I have a half a bag of white chocolate chips that I haven't really been using. So I'm going to put these on the top. You can make a frosting for it, or you can could just do something like this. So I don't have to make a frosting for it or anything. I'll just pat them down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put this into a 350 degree oven. And I will show you what they look like when they're done. Um, I will let you know how they taste. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.